Skeletal replicas are excellent educational tools. While real bones are fragile, these reproductions are made of a synthetic resin, which is very tough. These models are scientifically accurate and can withstand repeated handling in classrooms or museums. This facility is dedicated to producing skeletal replicas. Everything from ancient humans to prehistoric animals. Cast from real skeletons, these models are virtually indistinguishable from the original. The process starts with a real skull. This one is of a prehistoric saber-toothed cat. Using a wire cutter, a worker slices up blocks of clay, placing the pieces on the skull. He presses the clay evenly around the skull. He soaks a sponge and uses it to moisten and smooth the clay. He inserts a plastic tube that will come in handy later. Now, he saturates strips of fiberglass with the polyester resin and drapes them around the clay. Left overnight, the fiberglass and resin cure into a rigid shell around the clay. He repeats this process to create a second, identical fiberglass shell. With the skull and clay in the bottom half, he bolts the second shell on top. He pours silicone into the plastic tube, filling the space between the skull and the top fiberglass shell. After repeating this process on the other side, he opens the shell. He removes the skull and examines the two-part silicone mold. He places the two-part mold back into the fiberglass shell and straps it to a spinner. He pours polyurethane resin into the mold. At just over a pound, the weight matches the original skull. The spinner spirals at a controlled speed evenly distributing the resin throughout the mold. After the resin has solidified, he removes a replica skull from the mold. The specially formulated resin has the look and texture of bone. The craftsman scrapes away the ragged bits. This part is the jaw. Using a special grinding tool, he cleans up the surface and does a bit of contour work. With a sharper tool, he better defines the area around the teeth. Then he grinds the rough bits away from the cheekbone. This is the jaw before and after the improvements. Now it's over to the paint department, where a worker airbrushes the skull using acrylic paint. He layers shades of brown, black, and red to make this replica look more authentic. He inserts the saber teeth in the upper part of the skull and drills little holes in both of them. He pushes nails into the holes to secure the teeth in the sockets. An inspector now scrutinizes the skull and compares it to the original one on the left. Just like the real saber-toothed cat skull, it looks ancient. It's difficult to tell the difference between the 12,000-year-old skull and the new one. The skull is now ready for the rest of the skeleton body. It takes five people three weeks to build a skeletal replica like this one.